New Britain is the largest island in the Bismarck Archipelago of Papua New Guinea. It covers an area of nearly 40,000 square kilometers and has a population approaching half a million people. It is an untamed land of rugged mountains, steamy swamps, active volcanoes and dense rainforests. Due to the terrain, much of the wildlife here is still a great mystery and much of it is yet to be discovered. New Britain lies directly above a tectonic subduction zone and is one of the most volcanically active islands in the world with five active volcanoes. The geography and environment of New Britain is constantly being altered by volcanic and tectonic activity. This stretch of coastline has changed after an earthquake, killing all the trees through exposure to the ocean. These dramatic alterations of the terrain have created a unique biological environment where many species found nowhere else on Earth thrive. As the island has never been attached to the mainland, New Britain has developed its own biodiversity, with fewer species of mammals than mainland New Guinea. This isolation has meant that New Britain has a significant level of endemic or restricted range species, especially birds, frogs and bats, that have successfully adapted to the local environment. New Britain rainforests have high global conservation importance, especially for birds. The island is home to as many as 37 endemic or restricted range bird species. One of the most charismatic birds of New Britain is the dwarf cassowary, the smallest member of the cassowary family. A flightless bird, it stands at just over one meter and weighs up to 18 kilograms. These solitary birds roam the rainforest floor searching for fruit, only pairing to breed. The male dwarf cassowary is solely responsible for incubation and care of the young. The dwarf cassowary has a significant relationship with people. The bird is revered for its spectacular appearance and celebrated in this traditional dance. Hunting pressure for food and habitat loss has seen numbers drop in New Guinea, where the dwarf cassowary is now listed as a near-threatened species. As day gives way to night, the soundscape of the rainforest comes to life. Britain's most successful frogs are the platymantis. These wonderfully adaptable frogs have managed to colonize every type of habitat in the rainforest, from the leaf litter to the tallest trees. They have developed huge pads for gripping, just like the unrelated tree frogs of mainland New Guinea. A major characteristic of the platymantis group is that they are direct developers and don't require a body of water to lay their eggs. The moist environment of the rainforest provides all the water they need. The platymantis lay just a few large eggs and the young survive on the egg yolk before hatching directly into a moist environment. The free swimming tadpole stage of development is completely bypassed. Living in relative isolation the amphibian population of New Britain is not exposed to the deadly chytrid fungus that is causing extinctions of frog populations worldwide. Even today, most scientific expeditions are uncovering a host of new species. While they are given a name, unfortunately they are not studied, 
and little is known about their ecology or conservation status. Night is also the time for New Britain's most successful mammal, the fruit bat. The New Britain bare-backed bat, an endemic to the region, spends the night crisscrossing the canopy in search of fruit. Fruit bats come out in droves to feed off the fruits of the forest. The diversity and wide distribution of fruit-eating bats on New Britain is comparable to the island's birds and makes up a substantial percentage of the avifauna in the region. Once the flesh of this fruit is removed and the sweet juice extracted, the seed drops to the forest floor where it later germinates and grows, continuing the cycle of the forest. Fruit bats play a major role in the dissemination and spread of fruit trees throughout the forest and other environments of New Britain. Bats often drop seeds great distances from the origin of the fruit, spreading plant biodiversity over the island and even to neighbouring islands. The traditional subsistence way of life of the people of New Britain is being challenged. Logging and oil palm industries have increased exposure to the outside world. Changing consumption patterns and population growth have dramatically increased placing added pressure on the fragile balance. New Britain's greatest challenge today is how to develop the island in a way that provides an increased standard of living for its people, but also protects the natural environment that many of its people still depend on and which has profoundly influenced their lives and culture. Although an untamed land of great diversity and rare beauty, New Britain's environment faces an uncertain future. Thank <laughs> you. 